Hi, good day. This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video. And today, we're going to talk about finding equation of a line by slope and its intercepts, by slope and a point, and by two points. So as you can see, there are three ways on how we can find the equation of a line. It depends on what is already given, okay? So what are the different forms of linear equations? Meron na tayong dalawang napag-aralan dito. There are different forms of linear equations and the two of them are already discussed doon sa ating topic about writing equations into variables. Meron tayong standard form, we have ax plus b, y is equals to c, and the slope-intercept form, y is equals to mx plus b. Kung nakalimutan nyo na po yung ating topic na yon, ililink ko po down below para po ma-recall ninyo on how we rewrite a linear equation into variables from standard form to slope-intercept form and slope-intercept form to standard form. And then today, meron tayong madidiscover na another form of linear equation wherein we have point-slope form and the point form. Dito po sa point slope form, ito po yung ating magiging equation. y minus y sub 1 is equals to m multiplied to the x minus x sub 1. So, ang m natin, tandaan po, yun po yung slope. And sa two point form, almost the same din siya ni point slope form, yun nga lang kasi, two points po yung given dito. Yung m natin, yung slope natin na ang formula is the difference in y and the difference in x eto po yon So, yung slope naging formula siya mismo nung ating pagkuha ng slope. y minus y sub 1 all over x minus x sub 2. So, ito yung slope natin. So, yung kabuuan po ng ating 2-point form, we have y minus y sub 1 equals to y minus y sub 2 all over x minus x sub 2 multiply to the quantity of x minus x sub 1. So, here are the four forms of the linear equations in two variables. And itong point-slope form at two-point form po, ang magiging resulting equation nito ay ito rin pong slope-intercept form and standard form. So, let's start with finding the equation of a line using slope and y-intercept. We expect na ang given ay ang slope and ang y-intercept, okay? So, slope is represented by the variable m and y is represented by the variable b. And alin nga ba dun sa ating mga forms of linear equations yung merong m at b sa equation? That is the slope-intercept form. We have y is equals to mx plus b. What we're going to do is to substitute the given slope and the given y-intercept in this equation. And yun na po yung ating linear equations into variable. Okay? So, let's have our first example. So, here meron tayong graph. Wala pa tayong slope and y-intercept na given. So, from this graph, dito pa natin nahanapin si slope at si y-intercept. So, for the slope, we have to use the ratio of rise over run. So, we're going to count the number of units upwards and the number of units to the right or to the left. Kung nasan man po yung ating second point. So, dun muna tayo sa rise. How many units upwards from this point up to the second point? So, ilan nga ba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 units upward, so yun na po yung ating numerator. And then from this point, papunta naman dun sa ating second point, how many units? So to the right siya, positive siya, we have how many units? 1, 2. So divide natin to, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. So ito na po yung slope natin. For the y-intercept, kung ang ating pong line ay hindi ganito kahaba at hindi pa siya nag intersect sa ating y-axis, pwede natin siyang i-continue. Ano po, dugtungan natin para makita natin kung saan siya sa y-axis tatama. And in this example, kitang-kita naman po na siya ay nag-intersect sa negative 7. So that will be our y-intercept. So meron na tayong slope, meron na tayong y-intercept. Pwede na natin siyang i-substitute sa ating slope-intercept form. What will be the m that is positive 3? So magkakaroon tayo ng 3x. And then our y-intercept is negative 7. So y is equals to 3x plus negative 7. And i-write pa natin to magkakaroon tayo ng y is equals to 3x minus 7. Then this will be our equation of this line given the slope and the y-intercept. Okay? And siya ay naka-slope-intercept form pa. Kung kakailanganin po na ito ay naka-standard form, i-apply lang natin ulit yung steps natin on how to rewrite from slope intercept to standard form. Kung nakalimutan na po, pwede po nating balikan yung video. Again, ilalagay ko po sa description box below yung ating video about rewriting linear equations. Okay? So, paano nga ba tayo magre-rewrite? Yung atin pong term na may x, kailangan kasama siya ni y. We need the additive inverse of positive 3x and that is negative 3x. So, on both sides, magdadagdag tayo and pag nagdagdag tayo dito sa ating right side, magiging 0 na siya. 
So, matitira na lang is si negative 7. Then, dito naman sa ating left side, we have to rewrite this where our term with the x variable ay nasa unahan. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 3x plus y is equal to negative 7. And since gusto natin positive si term na may x, divide natin yung ating buong equation by negative 1. And the resulting equation is positive 3x Negative y, bakit naging negative? Kasi positive divided by negative is negative. And then, dito po sa ating right side, meron tayong positive 7. Bakit naging positive? Kasi po, negative divided by negative is positive 7. So, this will be the standard form of our linear equation. But still, pareho lang po sila. And also, this one, same lang din po siya dito sa ating 3x minus y is equals to 7 or y is equals to 3x minus 7. That's for our example number 1. Now, for our example number 2, meron din po ulit tayong graph. So, same as example number 1, we have to find out the slope and the y-intercept using this graph. So, to find the slope, we have to apply the ratio of rise over run. So, count the unit upwards and then count the unit to the left. Okay? So, to the left po tayo dito ngayon. And dahil to the left yan, negative po yung ating resulting slope. So, how many units upwards? 1, 2, 3. 3, 4. So, there are 4 units. So, yun po yung numerator natin. And then, from this point, papunta dun sa ating second point, how many units we have? 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 units and that will be negative 3. So, the slope will be negative 4 over 3. And then, for our y-intercept, saan po nag-intersect yung ating lines, ating y-axis? Ayan po. Kitang-kita naman po, we have positive 2. So, kumpleto na yung mga kailangan natin, isa-substitute na lang natin siya dito sa ating slope-intercept form. y is equals to, the slope will be negative 4 over 3, and then x, plus our y-intercept is positive 2. So, this will be our equation for this line, y is equals to negative 4 over 3x plus 2. So, yan na po yung hinahanap nating equation of a line. But, kung kailangan natin siyang i-rewrite into standard form, the first thing to do since meron tayong denominator is to multiply the whole equation by the LCD. And dahil meron lang naman tayong nag-iisang denominator which is 3, yun na po yung ating LCD. So, 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 4 over 3x is negative 4 na lang kasi po makakancel natin yung 3 na yun. And then, 3 times 2 is positive 6. Then, rewriting it by uh, adding the additive inverse of negative 4 on both sides of the equation, that will be positive 4x plus 3 y is equals to 6. So, positive po ang additive inverse ng 4x, idinagdag natin on both sides. Dito sa ating right side, naging 0 na siya. Matitira na lang ay si positive 6. Then, dito naman po sa ating left side, naka-position na siya. Nasa unahan yung ating term na may x followed by the term with the y variable. So, this will be the standard form of this linear equation for this graph. Okay? So, yung y is equal sa negative 4 over 3x plus 2, equivalent siya sa 4x plus 3y is equals to 6. So, that's for our example number 2. Kung kakailanganin lang naman po na naka-standard form, so you have to perform our steps in rewriting from slope-intercept to standard form. Kung hindi naman po, at kagaya lang po nitong ating example number 3, given na po yung ating slope, which is 5, and yung y-intercept natin, which is 2, ang gagawin na lang po natin is to substitute that on our slope-intercept form. So, ano magiging result natin dito? Pause this video for a while and then write your slope-intercept form, given that the line has the slope of 5 and the y-intercept is positive 2, what will be the equation? That will be y is equals to 5x plus 2. So, we substitute the value of m which is 5 and the value of b or y-intercept which is 2. So, this is the equation for number 3. Then, for number 4, given that m is 2 third and the y-intercept is negative 5, what will be the slope-intercept form of the equation? So, pause po ulit yung video and then try to answer, try to write the slope-intercept form. So, what is your answer on item number 4? We have here y is equals to 2 third x minus 5. So, sinabsitute natin yung value ng m or slope which is 2 third and then the y-intercept is negative 5. Kaya po, ito yung ating naging equation. Then, for the last example, we have the slope m is negative 5 over 2 and the y-intercept is negative 4. So, pause this video again and try to write the slope-intercept form of a line given the slope negative 5 over 2 and the y-intercept negative 4.
So the answer for example number 5 is y equals negative 5 over 2x minus 4. Okay? So negative 5 over 2 yung slope natin, yung y-intercept natin is negative 4. That is why ito po yung ating final answer for this example. So, as you can see, in finding the equation of a line using the slope and y-intercept, if the slope and y-intercept is already given, you're just going to substitute it to the slope-intercept form of the equation. So, ito yung slope-intercept form of our equation. If it is given in the form of graph, you're going to find out first what is the slope and the y-intercept before you substitute it to this form of equation. If kinakailangan naman po na naka standard form siya, you just going to perform the steps on how to rewrite slope-intercept form of linear equation into the standard form of the linear equation. Kung nakalimutan na po ang ating steps na yon, pwede nyo pong balikan yung video natin about writing equation of a line from slope-intercept form to the standard form. So, that's all for this finding equation of a line using slope and y-intercept. Again, I hope you learned something from this video and wag nyo pong kalimutan na mag-subscribe para updated po kayo sa ating mga uploaded videos and also pag din pong kalimutang mag-click ng notification bell button and i-like na rin itong ating video kung may natutunan po tayo. So, stay tuned for the another videos about finding equation of a line using the other methods, okay? So, that's all for this video. Bye-bye!